Hello, welcome back everybody. We have The Ricky Gervais Show, Season 2, Episode 3, The Fly. Now, I say welcome back because if this is the first time watching me, it's really weird place to start in Season 2, Episode 3. Like, it's weird. So I assume y'all know me and all know my quirks and stuff and um, just welcome back. There you go. Ta-da! Anyway, let's... um. We got the doppelganger. Dude, season two is fun, so I'm excited about this one. I do feel this should be, the, you know, called the Carl Show, but whatever. It works. It works. I know Ricky Gervais did everything. And I know, but Carl's the star. <laughs> anyway, yes. Carl, I've got a couple of little facts for you, just to try and in inflame your imagination. Go on. Inflame, okay. Sharks are immune to cancer. Are they? Yeah. So what... How have they found that out? Well, I don't know, but... But I've, I've never that heard of any question, fish though. having cancer. Like, that, even some freaky. Well, I don't know, mm -hmm. but... But I've, I've never heard of any fish having cancer, though. I haven't heard of a, a cod being ill. <laughs> so why are we focusing on that one? Okay. Right. Stroking a spider can cause its hair to fall out. <laughs> what? Because it's it doesn't like it and it gets stressed out, or is it just that some people are rubbing too hard? No, I oh. don't think it's they're rubbing too hard. I think it's something to do with. It, it, I mean, what sort of maniac is stroking a spider anyway? Right. So how do they ones. find that out? Really? Yeah, not, not to a spider. Right. It was a uh, just a little bee. <laughs> She'd been out, um, sunny day and that. Uh, got the washing off the washing line. Mm. She was bringing it in. Little bee sat on the top of like the bed sheet or whatever it was. Yeah. And um, she's in the kitchen with it. And she goes, look at that. Little bee there. She started sort of stroking its, stroking its head. It loved it. <laughs> loved it. It loved it, of course. How did it make it clear that it loved it? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't struggling. It was just sat there like... Because it must have been like a bit dozy. They get a bit dozy, don't they, in the uh, in the heat and that. Yeah. And uh, it just stayed there on the sheet, and she sort of strokes its head for a bit. And she had to put it out. It didn't go out. It didn't try and escape. It was like you've had enough now. Uh, <laughs> that was that was that. She sent it out. She loved all that. She loved little flies and stuff. And we had Harry the house fly. What? It's just Harry the house fly. What do you mean? It's just a fly that always seems to knock about in one corner of the room. Right. It's the same fly, was it? Yeah, it was the same fly. Yeah. How do you know it was the same fly? So whenever she saw a fly, she went, oh, look, it's back. Well, it's, we weren't letting him in. It's just that it stayed in. <laughs> Carl, what makes you think... The little Ricky expression it... is just beautiful. <laughs> Carl, what makes you think it was a pet house fly as opposed to a different fly every day? Because it was always in the same place in the corner. But it could have been that something about that particular place that attracted flies rather than it was the same fly. Well, I'm never worried about it. It's not. It wasn't arming us. It's just. It just always hung about. But, but how do you know it was the same fly? How do you recognise it? We weren't worried about it. It, does, it doesn't matter, does it? If, if like we're thinking another fly is getting a bit of free rent or something, no, just, just let it let it stay. I don't understand what. But why? why no, no, well, no. I d right. Okay. You're in a house, right? There's flies. Okay. Not flies. Fly. <laughs> why do you think it was the same fly for all those years? Just because we haven't got loads of other flies, at no point was there a crossover period where there's two and it's like, hang on a minute, he's trying it on here. <laughs> That's what I mean, it was always just one on its own. And we just thought, leave it, it's all right. I don't know why, why are you suspicious? Why do you always think someone's out to do you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I don't know why you assumed when you see a fly every now and again that it's exactly the same fly. It the just fact was. That it's Harry. The one in our house was the same one. How do you know? Because his name was oh, Harry. All right, I don't, <laughs> but I, at no point did I feel suspicious. <laughs> Speaking of flies, though, and that, um, they've, they've got one, right? I was out with Ricky, right, and he was reading the paper. There was a story there about a fly that its eyesight was bad or something, and they've made it a pair of glasses, and it had a picture of a house fly wearing... OK, this is, this is incredible, Steve. Glasses. Can I can I take over? Hang here? on, let me just, just need to finish a couple of questions for that. So he's got... There's a small fly and they've made it a pair of glasses yeah. so that it can see better. Yeah. And your concern is what? Well, again, it's just that thing of 
we, we're looking after everything now, aren't Sorry, we? I've got to come in here, Steve. All right. I showed you, you the story. Saw it. You saw it. It was a picture of a, a house fly, fly with a pair of glasses, glasses right? on. Yep. Right. It was about a one sentence thing. Mm. It was about how far technology's come. Yeah. And, and a group of scientists out. using um, microscopy, right? And uh, um, uh, laser tools had, as an exhibition, shown that they could make a pair of glasses smaller to fit on a house. They put it on there and they've taken a picture of it and it's on as a display. At no point was it actually because the fly had bad eyesight, the fly was presumably dead, it was purely an art installation or a show of technology. I thought you were going to say, Rick, that you'd drawn the uh, glasses on there. <laughs> <laughs> and he believed it like, there's a bearded lady in this paper. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, God. My God, Tony Blair looks like Adolf Hitler. <laughs> no. What, what do you think of that, though? But they did well, it as an experiment. Out. Yeah, but all things start as an experiment. But why would they make a pair of glasses but for a fly? How, how would they know he had short, a bad eyesight? How would they know it was the same fly? Bumping into stuff. I don't know. Bumping into stuff. It's just, it's just that thing, Then all isn't it, flies of... have dirt wall. They can't see windows. They're always bumping into stuff. Human nature is something's wrong with something. Let's fix it. And they, and they try and help people out all the time, don't they? Oh, that's horrible. When, no. you know, we are. We're always doing it. We're always trying to help people out. Instead What's of just going, you've been dealt a duff card. Cope with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get why that's a problem with them. If, you know, we're advanced enough and smart enough and can see animals or bugs or whatever that aren't leveled enough and need help why not help them why not what's wrong with that it's like little dogs that that their back legs don't work so great and we've made wheelchairs for them or well not chair wheels carriages i don't know they have wheels and like that's a beautiful thing that's a great thing have you ever seen a, a dog that has wheel they get so excited they get to you know walk and be a dog and you know play around and stuff that's like an awesome thing i don't i don't i it's like one of the few times i just flat out disagree with carl what's wrong with it? he's saying it like a negative thing not with a good idea <laughs> um, um, that. Mm. Uh, well, I, I do it now. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, 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 I'm sticking my neck out here. Um, but yeah. uh, right. I think this isn't going to be a good idea. Okay. Thoughts? Well, I'm, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to second that motion. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we're, let's see if we're both right. See through skin. <laughs> <laughs> High five, Rick. Okay, that was it. We've had a few emails about the old shows. People came into them late in the season. Did I not tell you this? We we've had an e we had an email from an Inuit. Really? Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd mentioned this. Have we not mentioned this before? No. No, it was an email from a guy who said, uh, I think. Well, I don't think he lives. He lives in Canada, I think, or somewhere else. I apologise for if I'm getting that wrong. But I think he told, he said he was half Inuit, and he listens to the show. Half Inuit. Mm. See, that's interesting because I think I mean, it was so remote. I know I'm probably wrong now, but I think that those are so remote that I can't think where they're meeting people who aren't. <laughs> that are also Inuit, yeah. Oh, and who's going, you know, other societies are going, I'll tell you what, I'm fed up, there's no action here, I'm going to the frozen tundra, I'm about to be someone there. <laughs> yeah. Where do they meet? Do they do online dating? What, what, probably a lot of online stuff. What do you put as hobbies? Fishing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skinning stuff. <laughs> Skinning stuff, yeah. What else stuff to skin? Uh, you know, seals. Seals, yeah, sure. That's about it, isn't it? Why are they hanging about round there? <laughs> Why aren't seals going, do you know what, it's cold, I'm sick of it here. It's windy all the time, what have you, and I'm getting a club on the head. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because they're, they're meant to be quite bright in terms of animals and that, aren't they? Yeah. So why are they knocking about them parts? I don't know. Say, like, if, if seals died out, right? Would 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 that be a problem? We've done this. We've been through this before, Carl. Everything has a knock-on effect. Even a seal, that sort of in between I love, something. I love, I love how this is now it's season two, that this is like a reoccurring thing. He brings something up, and Ricky's like, We've done this. And even Steven's like, Yes, we've done this. They just like, We've been through this, Carl. Let's, 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 let's not. All right. Already, it's between a fish and a. <laughs> And, and a, a dog, dog. is it? I knew you were going to say dog. <laughs> it's not between a fish and a dog. What do you think evolution does? Do you, just, fish I, to never dog. Understand it. Maybe what do you mean it. it's between a fish and a dog? I'm just saying it's... It so was a perfectly evolved mammal that re-entered the... 
the water, I imagine, and then got streamlined. And it, I, I mean, it's between a fish and a dog. But why not have one and the other? Why not have, like, you know, you've got a dog, you've got a fish. No, it's not between a fish and a dog. It's not between a fish and a dog. I don't know what between means. Right? I don't know what... This is it again about (laughs) saving everything all the time. What is it doing? (laughs) What's it doing? Everyone's feeling sorry for him all the time. Save the seal and all that. What's it doing? Why are we saving it? (laughs) Let's just ask that question. That's funny that seals come up because my brother is currently at the beach with his family and stuff and, um... He just sent me a random video today of just being at the beach, and there was, like, I don't know if it's a seal or a sea lion, because I'm not going to lie, I don't know the difference, but there was... Ah, the little bones! (laughs) Seagull poster. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, There was one, I want to say beached, but, like, you know, beached whale, beached shark, but technically... It wasn't beached because it can totally, like, just flop back to the water. But it was, like, on the sand, and there was a lot of people around it and stuff. And um, just weird. I I didn't even know they were, like, around the area where our beaches are, like, where people just casually go. I don't know. Like, I've been to the beaches several times. The, the, The wildest creature I've seen... From the ocean is just like a beach jellyfish or something like a dead one and they're just like kind of gross they're just jelly but i i didn't know that was a thing and um my brother said he he went to try to like help it in case it was injured or whatever to get back to the water and said it kind of like growled like it like it growled at him like a dog <laughs> so he just kind of stepped off and left it alone but it was like making its way slowly to the water but just it was like sights it was chilling like it wasn't hurt or anything apparently homie was just chilling but very very weird it's very weird that that was today so it's kind of weird i don't know i don't know serendipity i don't know jim what's he doing (laughs) (laughs) i don't know what to say it's between a fish and a dog out of all the people in the world (laughs) <laughs> to have a chat with. Do you know, um, what's his face? That German doctor. Which one? The guy that, that displays the human body? Guns, someone. Guns right. Traven or something. Oh, right, yeah. Um, well, I don't, is he, is he a proper doctor? Because it's just that it's always, I mean, I could cut a body up. I never see him sort of put it back together. Is, <laughs> is anyone keeping an eye on him, sort of going, well, who is he, actually? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he is a proper doctor. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't answer everything. Like, he doesn't say, I, I don't understand why the intestines have to be that long. I don't, I don't know why it just can't go from the throat to the belly, exit, straight dark line down, out the arse. You must know. Well, no, because uh, the, the way he, he dragged it out and it was, like, miles long. Yeah. Pointless. I love, no, I love <laughs> the way they animate Ricky's, like, fed-up face and, and, it was and like mad face. was, like, miles long. It's, like, too yeah. cute. Like, he's just, like... I, I can imagine Ricky having that exact expression. Like, <laughs> Pointless. No, it's not pointless. It's just, just, have a, just have a straight... Do you know no, what I mean? Straight. it's what you're talking about. Again... The evolution sort of worked this out for us. It really works. I don't think you're going to improve on it. What I mean is that's probably that long because years ago they were eating dinosaur and that might have took a lot of indigestion or something. I don't know how chewy it was. It might have been quite fatty dinosaur meat and it needs to go through all that. Now, we're eating, like, yoghurt. So, I mean, (laughs) we, we we don't need anything that, you know, is, is, is doing that much work anymore. All the food is mashed up. And in aura, right? <laughs> All her food is mashed. <laughs> right? She doesn't have to chew anymore. She's got teeth, but she doesn't need them. And that's how. how... <laughs> She's got teeth, but she don't need them. No, but that's well, how we're moving on. Well, she her intestines removed then. Well, no, but this is that what I'm saying. That's our other problem, wouldn't it? We're changing everything all the time, aren't we? I mean, there's some fella who was looking at on the internet. Um, identical twins, right? Okay. They were sort of sick of looking like each other, so they were like, "What can we do?" Right? And one of the twins said, you have my arm, right? <laughs> and he, he had his arm taken off and stuck on his, his twin, so his twin's got, like, three arms. No, it's not true. <laughs> it's on the website. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not true. Um, what, for a laugh? They were born so what, they did that for no, a laugh. What, what, like, what doctor's doing this, then? Right. Well, they're old enough to sort of say, this is what we want. And no, 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 no. Doctors don't go, well, if he wants another arm, and I'll take another... They don't... Doctors don't do that. 
What sort of practice? Is this doctor going around and go, Dr Jekyll? I mean, Carl, think of what you're no, saying. But we've... Where would he have stopped? Can you put his head on my knee? No, it's up to you. No, <laughs> sign this. If you sign this, make him more consent. But, but we, you know, it is isn't. Oh, what, what do you think these doctors are doing? Just to do as they're told. They don't do as no, they're told. They, don't. they do if someone wants it, and and twins sort of it can get you down, can't it? Being a twin because it's like. Sorry, what would this hair. solve though? I thought you said he, he he gave one of them a, a bigger nose or a beard or two front teeth that would to make them look different, right? Not. They didn't I'll tell you have what we could front do. teeth. <laughs> Apparently, they didn't have front teeth. They gave one of them two front teeth. Two front teeth that would be to make them look anything, different, right? Okay. Not. I'll tell you what we could do. Go on. Um, would you like one arm? Go on, what are you thinking? Well, me three, you one, therefore not twins. <laughs> Novelty. I mean, you are a mental man. But they can do it now, can't they? There's no sort of... There's, there's no line drawn anymore. They don't go, you're crazy, we're not going to do that. Yeah, in Saw 2, not in the real world. No, they don't do things like all this. Right, there's another bloke, right? I don't know the sort of full ins and outs of it. Go on, you surprised me. But what... <laughs> I'm kind of curious now. Say, let, just hypothetically, let's just say that was a real thing, all right? I have two arms, cut off a healthy arm of whoever, and they want to add it to me, so I have three. He's like, he's like very casually confirming they can do that. There's no line or whatever. Now I'm curious, where would they hook up the third arm? Like where would they connect? Like all the veins and the tendons. Where, where, where were they? Where would they connect it? Like I don't have extra sets of just like, <laughs> just extension cords of you know veins and unused like tendons and stuff. Just waiting for an extra limb, just in case. Like as you know, spare to spare. You know what I mean? Like he's just casually saying, "Oh, it's possible." I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm not saying it's stupid. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying I'm curious, like medically curious, as how where where would where would they plug it in? <laughs> where does all the, like the wiring and stuff connect to? And also, you know, the connections and stuff, nerve endings and all that for me to be able to actually move it and stuff. Just curious again. Hypothetically saying it's easy and doable and cool. I'm, I'm just wondering. He asks for um, oh, something sorry, happens wait, and outs of it. Don't do things like All this. Right, there's another bloke, <coughs> right? I don't know the sort of full ins and outs of it. Go on, you surprised me. But <laughs> what he asks for, um, something happened to his his, his tackle. Right? Mm -hmm. It's penis. Uh, yeah, right. Um, so he was at the doctor's and they were like... Oh, what can you do for me? It's a bit embarrassing. I've got nothing down there, right? <laughs> so they were like looking at it, going, "Yeah, um, doctor." I don't know if he started like rubbing his chin with his finger or something. Look down. The he's thinking. <laughs> the specificity <laughs> of the story. Look down. He's thinking. <laughs> got an idea. Um, you know, you've got a lot of fingers. How many of them do you use? <laughs> The patient's like, yeah, I see what you're thinking. <laughs> they cut off one of his fingers, sewn that on to where his, his tackle is. He's happy. Well, that's different, though, isn't it? Well, that's where they've really taken different. tissue. <laughs> no, but they've, I assume they, they fashioned it into more of a knob than a finger. If you were doing that, use a sausage. I mean, why lose a finger? For well, I'll tell you why. Because your finger what has your, your tissue why lose a into more of a knob than a finger. If you were doing that... Use a sausage. I mean, why lose a finger? For well, I'll tell you why. Seen. Because your finger has your your tissue, your blood type, and therefore would graft uh, to near your testicles. A sausage is a thing <laughs> that's made by a butcher out a of offal, oh. okay, that really can't be grafted onto any part of the human yeah, body. But... That's why they very rarely use any meat products yeah, in, uh, in, in surgery. surgery. <laughs> I know. Okay, yeah. wait, is rarely. that why? You... Okay, sh her hand got snatched because he wanted to share it. He wanted a piece too. Is that what? It's still weird. Use any meat products yeah, but in, uh, in, in surgery. surgery. <laughs> I know, yeah. Use, well, I mean, why not use a sausage? You're a mental case. 
also, I want to say, because they're going to go to, like, a completely different topic right now, that they're making fun of, like, Carl, especially with the twin thing where they, you know, give me an arm, whatever. Um, fast forward into, like, you know, 2020 to now, or I don't remember when it was. Um, there have been people with this whole, you know, identifying as this or identifying as that thing. There have been people that have been self-identifying as disabled in certain ways. And there was like one case of a woman, and I've seen it so many times, and apparently it's, it's true. There was a woman that identified as blind, but she wasn't, so she blinded herself. She went to a doctor, I think. I don't remember properly now because I read it a while ago. Went to a doctor, and I don't remember if the doctor helped her or not. I think she did get medical help to blind herself. I think maybe she went to one, the guy was like, uh, no. And then maybe she went to another one, and, um, yep, they blinded her. I, I don't remember if it was, like, acid in her eyes or what it was, but. And there's, like, a, there, there's a whole lot of people that are like, oh, you know what? I want to be this or I want to be that. And just when they were fine and they just maimed themselves in different ways because that's what they were feeling that day. Which is weird. And um, also, also, uh, the, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna say cosmetic surgery because I don't think an extra arm is exactly cosmetic, but we're gonna say cosmetic surgery. And apparently, there's a lot of people that get like mad addicted to that stuff. And I remember also there was a lady that got like way, way, way too addicted to, um, like Botox and lip fillers and all those things. And uh, she went like mega overboard to a point where she was going to a bunch of plastic surgeons because she wanted more, 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 more. And um, I can't remember her name right now. She wanted more, more, more. And there was a point where like plastic surgeons were like, you know, no lady, I'm going to have to like, as if it were a bar, I'm going to have to cut you off. You know, give me your keys. You can't drive home. <laughs> um, they kind of like said, no, no, no. And she, she went to several and nobody wanted to... The word doesn't help her because they were helping her to not do it. Nobody wanted to do what she asked. Not like, you know, this, hey, I'm paying you, you know, get it done. Um, and she ended up injecting herself with, like, cooking oil or whatever. And it's just a ridiculous infection in her face. And just, it was a mess. So there's all kinds of crazy problems in this kind of field and stuff. So they're, like, laughing it off, saying Carl's dumb, but... This kind of stuff exists. I mean, sure, it's not common. It's not this. It's not that. But it's out there. It's totally out there. So. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I always remember this story when I was a kid about some bloke. He had um, throat cancer. Right. And his doctor said, carry on with your life. Right. It's not going to be that good. But just carry on. Um, but don't eat meat. And he was like, oh, I love meat. It's Bacon. like, yeah, but just don't, you know, <coughs> have your veg, keep yourself strong, but don't be eating that. Anyway, he was, he was fed up because he loved his meat and his, his wife was feeling a bit sorry for him one day and thought, you know, I'm sick of him looking fed up and that all he wants is some meat, for God's sake, give him some meat. So she goes to the butchers, gets him a big piece of, like, steak and what have you. He can't believe it. He's like, oh, brilliant, cheers for that. Anyway, um, <laughs> he's got the meat on his plate just about to tuck in and the cancer comes out <laughs> from his throat. <laughs> what? No, it's some, I know, it sounds really weird, but it's something that, that I was told about years ago when I was growing up. What are you talking I love about? When, I love that hey, animation. But it's something that, that I was told about years ago when I was growing up. That. What are you talking about? It was just some, some bad illness, some cancer thing, and it sort of... It was, it was coming out waiting for the meat. It was... It was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was sort of dying. Again, it, I get a lot of your medical... Uh, knowledge is from it's from the film Alien. So this right? guy's throat cancer, okay, yeah. as opposed to it being a disease of the cell. It was like a living the alien. It oh, was alien. so it was a, it was a uh, it was the animal. It was the little animal cancer. That's why. What he are you talking about? Meat. He wasn't allowed to eat meat. So it's sitting there. Meat. So it's actually sitting there in the throat. Why? I tell you what I'd have done if I'd have had some cancer in my throat. I go. <coughs> there you go. Rid of that. What are you talking about? So what happened? Um, he choked to death on this thing, and the wife was like, "Oh, I shouldn't give him the meat after all." Just That's listen to your story. Listen to your it's, it's all there's loads of weird stuff like that. There. Okay, again, 
Again, he's telling it completely wrong, completely wrong, and looking like a moron. But, 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 I have a story I don't want to share because it's absolutely disgusting. Like, probably worse than anything I've shared. <laughs> not my own story. Oh, dear, sweet Christ, not my own. But apparently it's a thing. I don't, I'm not going to share this story because it's just bad. But. 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 And this is also confirmed. Uh, I, I've, I've, you know, confirmed it several places. But it was also confirmed. Uh, they mentioned it in the Big Bang Theory. Which isn't stating. Oh, yeah. If it was, if it was on that show, it's fact. Obviously not. But uh, <laughs> the way they, they mentioned it, it's because it's a thing. But there are... I don't know if they're tape worms or what kind of worms that people can have. Not this area out this way, but more downwards, more south. If, 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 <laughs> if we medically think or, or, or biologically, there we go, think of this mouth as an entrance, then it's the exit. <laughs> region um there are worms that when the person who has the worms which would be the host goes to sleep or even relaxes or whatever they come out of the exit i don't remember if it's to breathe or or what but um yes it's absolutely just horrifying and disgusting and it's a thing but it's a thing and it's true so like just what he explained right but we're gonna flip it upside down <laughs> and it's out the other way and uh they they do you know take a breather take a little smoke break and then they you know crawl back into their host or their home or whatever you're saying so again it's not a cancer thing. It's not like what he's saying. But. Kinda. <laughs> and I'll leave you with those images. I would. Okay. I tried to be as like delicate as possible explaining this. Right. Okay. I tried to be very just, you know. Ladylike about it. Hard. But I think I succeeded. Hopefully. Anyway, it's still gross. What happens in medical stuff. <laughs> Well, the terrible thing is, you if you if you got testicular cancer and you eat meat, your bollocks come out of your trousers, and they're they're all over the plate, yeah. and you have to be asked to leave the restaurant. Right. Of course. I've oh, seen that. Oh, she's bashing that. He's only on a running it down. That's the jingle for Carl's diary, uh, excerpts of which we read each week. Get straight into it. A band from the Conga have won the best newcomers in a Radio 3 competition. They use pots and pans for instruments. It says that the Conga is a poor, sad place. So why do people do that happy dance at the end of parties called the Conga? Right, one is the Congo. <laughs> There's no place called the Conga. <laughs> they come from a place called the Congo. <laughs> 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 Met Suzanne at Euston Station. I said I would sort out the tea tonight, so I called the curry house. The fella couldn't understand me. I asked for two popper doms. He kept saying, how many? I kept saying two. He still couldn't understand. I said, one more than one. He understood. When we picked up the food and took it home, there were five popper doms in the bag. Okay. I had no idea what a popper dom is, but okay. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> <sighs> oh, God. There is a restaurant somewhere that sells knobs to eat. No, there's not. There is. No, there's not. No, there is. It says that women can't eat... I love eat... how the, the not is is that there was, but it went bankrupt or whatever. Like, it got abandoned. Not that it, it, it was, like, a pet store or something else. It's, it's was and wasn't <gasps> is... Oh, God. It was. There is a restaurant <laughs> somewhere that sells knobs to eat. No, there's not. There is. No, there's not. No, there is. It says that women can't eat too many of them, and if you want a seal's knob for dinner, you have to book in advance. Right, it's gobbledygook. Ooh. This is the ramblings of a madman again. It's a trend, he writes. It won't last long. It'll be like hummus. <laughs> I like 
called I Ricky and asked what the difference is between the mind and the brain. Yeah, he <laughs> That's did. a hell of a phone yeah, call Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Ricky did explain, but I can't remember what he said. I wondered at what age you are when the mind kicks in. Okay. Ricky changed the subject and said there is an island called Spider Island. There's nothing but spiders on it. A bloke went to visit the island and said there was a thousand types of spider in one tree. What do you think about that? What do you think about an island that's just... My first thought? First of all, hell no. Hell no. But my first thought um, is Ron Weasley's Nightmare. It's full of spiders. Just 100%. Um, <coughs> I don't know, because you, you need spiders. I, I don't know what they do, but they say a world without spiders like wouldn't wouldn't be good. But but they sort of do they do something. There's something about if you did get rid of them all, it would have an effect. Well of course it would. Any get rid of anything it would have an effect. Mm, not not everything though. No. <laughs> like I've said, you know, jellyfish and what have you. Well it, no. It's it's ninety seven percent water or something. Yeah. So how much are they doing? Just give, give them another three percent, make them water. <laughs> and that's, that's that's more useful. <laughs> give them another three percent and make them water. <laughs> oh God! Went into the gadget shop today. It's full of stuff that we don't need. Gadget used to be a good word that made you think of James Bond with all his gadgets. The best thing I could find in the shop was a clock that ran on potatoes. <laughs> we are definitely going backwards. <laughs> I agree. Well, what's the? Who cares about that? A, a, you know, a little. Electrical impulse, so what? Had a night out with old schoolmate. Found out about more of the other lads I went to school with. One is living underground. <laughs> what do you mean living underground? Not like a mole. Do you yeah. mean he's got a basement or do you mean he digs a hole every night? My mate went to visit him and he said it's all like it had been raining really heavily and that. And it's this, all is, this is the same drawing as, as the friend he went to the beach with, right? <laughs> Or camping with. I think it's the same guy. Rain's running what in. What do you mean he went to visit him? <laughs> he went down here. What's that? That's an hole in the ground. Yeah, come in. He, come just, he just said, oh, come, come round to us. And I like how they animated the him. As a what do you mean he's living he, underground? He, he, he's happy down there. He said it was really muddy and what have you. He said he won't be going back to visit him. I believe this, though. I believe someone he went to school with now lives in a hole. <laughs> that doesn't shock me. That's to that's He spent to far too long with him. If that I used to watch one of those shows that was like the most amazing houses or something like that some or the most bizarre houses in the world i don't know some crazy stuff and uh it was usually mostly something that resembled nothing of a home turned into a home and there was a really cool one that i will never forget that it was like on the side of a mountain they made a cave into a home so basically inside the walls are just like cave walls and stuff and very very weird but very cool very very cool like and, and it was huge too they made a mansion in that cave and i don't know if they dug out some part of like the the cliffside and stuff made more cave i don't know how they did i don't know Carl moment. I have no idea, but it what they were showing and stuff, it was really cool. And I think it was, like, you know, extra cool in the summer or whatever because it was a game. Um, so just... That was just, like, a footnote or parentheses or, you know, just a mandy thought. That, now you're just happy to accept. I totally accept that. I, I'd be surprised if I walked around where he lived that there weren't more people living in holes. <laughs> His dad wanted to throw his budgie on the fire. True. His budgie died, his dad said, let's What's throw it on the fire. I mean, his mum, what did your mum do? She just was worried about the other bird that was left, so she made it a bit of company by getting a rock, getting a feather off the dead budgie, sticking it on the rock, put, putting it in the cage. So a, a man living in a hole <laughs> it's not is unusual. not that bizarre. All right, carry okay. on. Carry Watched on. a film about Hitler. Didn't watch all of it as it was subtitled. Can't be doing with that. Ask Suzanne if cinemas are full of deaf people when they're showing subtitled films. She said, shh, I'm trying to watch it. I said, what do you mean, shh? It's subtitled, I can make as much noise as I want. Yeah. She's you, a lucky, lucky woman. <laughs> you must be a joy to watch a subtitle. As much noise I as just, I want. I love yeah. the She's... way they're drawn. Look at that face and the eyes. <laughs> like the little stink eye. And I don't know why their hands are so tiny compared to, like, the, the body. And especially Steven. He's, he's got those really skinny arms and stuff, and his hands are just tiny. But th this, this, 
This is like shirt material. Just Steven like that and Ricky just like all pleased with himself as, as per usual. The lucky, lucky woman. <laughs> you must be a joy to watch a subtitle film. I mean, the concentration is, is, is up there already. It's not as easy as when you're hearing it because, mm. you, you know, you, you read things, but, you know, it's possible. If you had a, a buffoon going, I'm just going to sit here and make as much noise as I want, what's the point of that? <laughs> yeah. do, do that in a cinema. Just walk into a subtitle film and go, right, everybody... Let's all do the Congo. We're go. having our bathroom done. The bathroom man was round at nine this morning. We weren't allowed to use the shower because it all had to be bone dry before we could use his waterproof filler. Not that waterproof, then. <laughs> <laughs> Went for a brew with Ricky. We talked about monkeys and how they are closer to humans than they are to apes and how bees will drink cider to get off their heads. Now and again, there is a bee that lets the drinking get in the way of the work and other bees sting it to death. Blimey. Mm. Yeah, well, uh... Uh, there are bees. They love a drink, um, and uh, they can they can just they they will uh, drink pure alcohol. They love getting off it, and they fall down and they're drunk, right? But some bees get uh, addicted in the, in the same sort of percentage as human addiction. Like ten percent of bees, they can't get enough of it. They take uh, ethanol. They take cider apples and that. And then when they get back to the hive, they go in a bit pissed, and they've got guard bees, and they go, "Come on, we've all had a drink." Bounces. Yeah. They sort of are, right? And they push them away, and they push them away again. Then the next time they go, right, I've had enough. And they give it a good idea. And uh, Carl couldn't get over this. I saw his face, but I, I knew that he was thinking of that bee with sort of, like, eyes rolling round his head, a little bit belligerent, with his jacket on backwards. Yeah. You know, and the bouncer going, come on, come on, son, we've all had enough. Let's move away, <laughs> yeah. move away. You're not coming in, right? You're wearing trainers. Yeah, you know, you're wearing, you're wearing three pairs of trainers, <laughs> oh. and uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sick of it. You know. But what I did find out, because I went, went home and went on the computer trying to find out about drunk bees knocking about, um, they're not actually meant to fly. It's only because they don't know. Fly. Well, no, but they're, they're, if, if they were told that you're not actually designed to fly, they, they wouldn't bother. No, th this, is the, this is that thing that goes around, that aerodynamically... On the f on the face of it, looking at the size of the wings and the and the and the body proportions and everything, that it that it's a surprise that they can fly. Okay, it's not that no one's ever told them they can't. And, and as soon as someone tells me not meant to fly, they all fall out of the sky, going, oh, "What are we doing?" Like in a cartoon. <laughs> no, but uh, it's, it's something about the confidence and that. At the moment, nobody's saying. There's nothing to do with them. the confidence. There is no such thing as confidence in bees. A bee never loses its nerve. That's not why it drinks. Because what are you drinking for? I'm just not confident anymore. There's no point to turn to the bottle. I can't go up there again. You're an idiot. <laughs> the same bee story if, that Ricky told, and, and Ricky is smart for knowing and being able to explain it and share it. If the exact same thing was told in the exact same way by Carl, they would have been calling him, again, an idiot and saying he's... he's speaking absolute bollocks and and he's just a moron and you know like just because Carl has crazy stories just because it's a Carl thing doesn't mean crazy stories don't exist I mean clearly because I've never heard that B thing and it's, it, it sounded ridiculous enough to actually have come from Carl come from Carl I don't know it doesn't sound right but whatever Whatever, it doesn't matter, you guys understood. But you know what I mean? It bothers me that if, if Ricky says something that's absolute pants, it's fine. But when Carl says anything that, you know, even makes sense from time to time, uh, they just, you know, shut him down as a moron. That's pants, people, that's pants. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man, this show's fun. I enjoy it. I definitely enjoy it. Carl's Diary is just, like, snippets of, again, just little snippets of inside someone's mind, and I love those kind of things. So very, very fun. And, um, yeah, there you go. That was great. It's, I, like, the show got back on track on season two, and I'm excited. I'm excited to watch more, and apparently season three is, like, hilarious as well, so gives me something to look forward to and, and I get excited when I get to watch these so very 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 cool anyway lovely people um I'm off so I just want to say thank you all of you you guys are awesome honestly ugh, I've, I've had you know 
I've, I've been having a rough time. Been having complicated couple of weeks and stuff, and um, like mood wise, and and you know emotionally on a, like a emotional level, um, I've been feeling quite better. You know, reading comments, answering you know comments, and and just putting out content and. Just everything that is channel related and, and, and the way you guys support and stuff. It's, you guys actually, it's just, you help me more than you guys know. And um, I thank you guys for it. I think you guys, you guys are like extremely and sometimes even overwhelmingly just, you know, positive and helpful and supportive. And it just, sometimes it blows my mind that, that you know, this is, this is part of my life and, and this is part of what I'm, I'm getting to do. And I just, I just, I love it. And I just thank you guys so much. It's awesome. And you guys are actually just really helping me, you know, get back, get back on track into like a, a good place. So thank you for that. Anyway, I am off. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are having positive positive weeks and positive times and, and, and just good things. And if you're not, good things to come. I'm sure of it because that's always the case, isn't it? Anyway, I'm off because I'm rambling and, you know, when, when a Mandy ramble starts, you never know where it's going to go. So I'm going to cut it off. Good night. Goodbye. I'm saying good night because it's late here, but what? goodbye. Good evening. Toodles. Toodles covers everything. Toodles, people. <laughs>